what a blessed morning god has given us family i greet you all in the name that is above every name the name of our lord and our personal savior jesus christ of nazareth i want to thank the holy spirit we have given us the power the opportunity to get into the word and begin to hear the word of god we are transformed by the word of god our prayers are answered when we are praying according to the word so already as you are praying i want you to understand that it is only scriptures it is only a quote that is coming from the word of god that you can give to god and god is paying attention to it please i want you to understand that without that you are limited without that you are limited the word of god is what we are giving back to him father your word says that's why it is very important every morning as we are waking up we are waking up with the word we are shaping we are building our our day our tomorrow by the word so i want you to understand that when you before you begin to go and do things physically there must be somewhere where you have laid the foundation spiritually what you want to see happening it must be something that you have to to, uh, to build in the spirit like what we, we are doing right now we are going to pray the scriptures we are going to give god his word because the devil only pays attention to the word without you going to the devil with the word he will never move but the moment that you say it is written immediately the enemy is forced uh, to listen to the orders that are coming out of your mouth so i want you to understand and i want you to pay attention I want you to really understand and pay attention to this because God is going to transform our lives as we are maintaining this level of prayer, praying the scriptures, praying the word of God. We started a fasting yesterday up to Sunday. And what is it that we are fasting for? We are asking God for our spirit man to be, to be, to be, to be strengthened. We are asking God for the Holy Spirit to fill us. So your prayer again before I read here, I want you to say, Holy Spirit, fill me up. Remember when Jesus Christ left, he said, you shall go and tarry uh, in Jerusalem. And the reason why you are waiting, you are waiting for the Holy Spirit. Because the moment that he will come, he shall give you power. You cannot achieve anything without the Holy Spirit. So if, it, if, it, if there's something that we are supposed to fast for, something that we are supposed to pray for, something that we need to join hands and say, this is what we want, it must be uh, asking God to be filled by the Holy Spirit. The things that we need, what you need at your workplace, the things that you want God to do uh, in, 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 in your home, in your business, in your academics, it, is, it can only start to happen when there is the presence of the Holy Spirit. So if we have the Holy Spirit, we have everything. That's why the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and everything shall be added. So our prayer this morning is, Lord, fill me up with your spirit. Fill me with the Holy Spirit. Lord, fill me up with the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to quickly go in the book of Matthew chapter uh, 14. Sorry, Matthew chapter 15, verse 13. Uh, there is a scripture that we are going to use to pray this morning. Uh, and right now, even as you are about to, uh, we're about to finish this, I want you to saturate that place with the presence of the Lord change the the, uh, the environment the atmosphere every time when you are listening to, the, to our morning devotions i want you to make sure that you are playing deep worship songs that 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 changes the atmosphere of that place because remember we are entering in the time of prayer we are entering in the time of prayer. So now I want you to understand that. Begin to pray something because we, we're going to enter in the time of prayer. And I want you to pray knowing what you are doing. Now pay attention. 
every plant which my heavenly father had not planted shall be rooted up. We are going to look at the things that might prevent the Holy Spirit to manifest or to dwell in our lives. Remember the enemy, the, the devil, when he wants to come in and attack your life, you will look into the things that can attract him inside you. Probably it is in your character. Probably it is in the way that you speak. Probably it is in the way that you reason. He looks in deeper into things like that. So I want you to begin to pray and you say, Father, anything that is growing inside me and you did not plant it, anything that you did not plant, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may it be uprooted today in Jesus' mighty name. That's the prayer. May it be uprooted by the power of the Almighty God. Anything that the devil planted in me, Anything, Lord, that probably I planted, but it is stopping the Holy Spirit to fill me up by the power of the Almighty God. I command that, that plant to be uprooted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So now I said we need the Holy Spirit in your workplace. You need the presence of the Holy Spirit. What does he do? The Bible says he shall direct your steps, the steps of a righteous person. He shall come. He shall comfort you. He shall teach you all things. Please understand. He shall teach you all things. So in other words, when you do not know whether this is the right way for you to take, you need to consult the Holy Spirit. He will tell you everything. He will teach you everything. He will comfort you when you need to be comforted, which means we need the Holy Spirit more than anything else. Your prayer this morning that I want you to pray is, My Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. May I be filled with the Holy Spirit. May I be filled, my Father, with the Holy Spirit. May I be filled. And anything that wants to prevent the Holy Spirit to enter and to dwell in my life, I command that thing to be removed. Whether it is in my character, probably it is anger. Probably it is unforgiveness. Probably it is lust. Probably it is adultery. It might be uh, fornication. It might be gossiping. Whatever that is preventing the Holy Spirit to enter and dwell in my life, I command it to be removed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That's the prayer that I want us to pray. When you start your day with that kind of prayer, you are actually telling God that may you fill me up. Father, fill me up. That's what you're saying. May you fill me up, O oh God. And anything that might want to stand on top of me uh, before, I mean, any, between me and your fulfillment, God, I command that thing to be removed. I want you to be, to have the hunger for the Holy Spirit in you. That's the prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, may I be filled. May I be filled. May I be filled. That's the prayer. Without the fulfillment, without us overflowing, we cannot do anything. We need to overflow. And it starts with the quest. I want you to have that quest. Father, fill me up. I have, I have walked this journey on my own. But Lord, today, fill me up. Oh God, fill me up. That's the prayer. Lord, fill me up. I need you. I need you, my Father. I need you. I need you, Jesus. I need you. I want you to cry before the Lord. Lord, I need the Holy Spirit to walk with me. I need the Holy Spirit to enlighten me. Anything, Lord, in me that does not want the Holy Spirit, I command it to be removed. I want you to cry with, and fast for it. We are fasting this entire week. We are going to be fasting. We are going to be seeking the face of the Lord. We are not asking for money. I don't want you to ask for money. I don't want you to ask for the things that do not matter. I want you to ask, Lord, fill me up, O oh God. Fill me up, my Lord. I want to be filled by you, God. Fill me up. I am empty. I am thirsty. I want us to, to go in and begin to ask God for that and you see what God is going to do in our lives. God is doing mighty things in your life and I want you to raise your hands and let's, let's, let's stand in agreement. Matthew 18 verse 19. The Bible says, if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they ask for, it shall be done. We are going to agree that we need the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. 
Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. And I give you glory and honor and I magnify your name. You are Jehovah and there's no one who is like you. Thank you for your grace and thank you for your power. Father, Lord, fill us today before we leave. Oh God, fill us, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. May your power, may your Holy Spirit fill us. In the mighty name of Jesus, may your Holy Spirit fill us, my God. I pray by the power of the Almighty God. I break every power of the enemy. I break every power of the devil. I break every power anything in us oh god that is preventing the holy spirit father in the name of jesus i command it to be removed by the power of the almighty god anything that is blocking father the flow of the holy spirit in us jehovah god may that thing be removed in jesus mighty name we pray amen i love you so much family may god bless you may god keep you may he anoint you in the name that is above every name the name of our Lord and our personal Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Probably you're watching here for the first time and you haven't subscribed to this channel. I want you to go ahead and subscribe to this channel and tell somebody about it. May God bless you. Amen.